children in worship today we are celebrating one two three the third Sunday in Lent and last week we started reading a book together called make room and the section that we read last week talked about making time during Lent making time for God making time for others making time in our heart um, and this week, we're going to read about making space. So, let's hear the words of this book together. Making Space After Jesus came back from the desert, he left everything behind. Trusting God to give him what he needed, he began to travel from place to place, telling everyone who would listen about God and the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is the world the way God imagined it in the very beginning, the way God wants it to be. Well, many people came to hear Jesus and they were full of questions. What is the kingdom of God? Where is it? How do we get there? And Jesus told them, The kingdom of God is like a tiny mustard seed that grows into a huge plant so big and strong that birds can build nests in it. And we heard that story together many times. The kingdom of God is also like a pinch of yeast stirred into a big mixing bowl of flour. It's only a speck, but it makes a big batch of dough rise. The kingdom of God is inside of you, but it needs time and space to grow. This is how to make space. If you've done wrong, tell God that you're sorry. Sweep your heart clean and start fresh. Be kind to all people, not just the ones who like you. And open your heart up wide. If someone hurts you, ask God to help you forgive. Do not store up angry thoughts. Let them go. You make space inside for better things. Share so that everyone has enough. If you have two coats, give one to someone who doesn't have one. Why clutter up your life with more than you can use? We make space for what really matters. During Lent, we make space. We clean our whole house. We sort our clothes and toys and books and we give away what we do not use. And it is hard at first. I like my things and I want to keep all of them, but someone else might need them more than me. Besides, I like having space in my room. It makes me feel lighter. During Lent, we make our lives more simple. We eat plain meals, sometimes just bread and soup. Everyone helps with the cooking. We even give up buying some of our favorite treats and snacks, and instead we put money into a jar and save it. And when Lent is over, we buy groceries for the food bank. Making do with less means that someone else can have enough, and that seems fair. I like having nice things, and I like to buy treats, and I like to eat my favorite foods, but not all the time. 
There are times for filling up and times for emptying out. And Lent is a time for emptying, for sharing, for giving away. It is good to make space. So I don't know about you, but we've been spring cleaning at my house and we've been cleaning out old things that we don't use anymore, things that don't fit anymore, or things that we just have too much of. And we can share those things with others who may not have enough, just like we talked about making space in the book. And there's another way that they talked about making space, and that was saving money and putting coins in a jar. And there's a tradition that we have in the Presbyterian Church where we have fishies. And we collect money in our fishies for one great hour of sharing. And that will be on Easter. So remember Easter is in one, two, three, four more Sundays. So in that time, in those four weeks, we can put our coins inside of our fishies, and you might want to decorate your fish just the way you like it. We're going to have them in the shepherd's room, so you can stop by and pick up one for you. And maybe some of your family members might like to have one, or maybe a friend might like to collect too. And then on Easter Sunday, we're all going to bring our fishies back together, and we're going to give them to a good cause, to people that might need it more than we need it. Welcome back, and we wanted to revisit the Advent, not the Advent wreath, it's like the Advent wreath that we had at Christmas. This is our Lent wreath, and we're using the candles to count as we get closer and closer to Easter. And so last week we lit the first week's worth of candles, one for each day, and this week we're going to move, remember our Jesus figure, he's carrying the cross, because we are all on our way to Jerusalem, and Jesus is showing us the way, remember, so he is going to travel, and we're going to move him all the way over here. And so this week, as you and your family might be spring cleaning at your house, I want you to think about ways that you and your family can make space. How can we make space? Make space in, in our homes, um, making space in our hearts, making space for God and making space for others. So let's say a quick prayer together. Dear Lord, we thank you for all that we have. You always give us everything that we need. Fill us with your goodness and help us to find ways to make space, to make space for you and to make space for others. Amen. Go now in peace. Go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere.